Guys, I wanted to just jump in here. I just wrapped up a podcast um, where we were talking about vibrational frequencies and how to stay at a high frequency, right? And high frequency is when we feel good, things are working in our favor, everything just kind of comes to us and it's a really good feeling, feel happy, all the rest of it, right? Low frequency is when the exact opposite, we're starting to manifest just a dog shit day and we're complaining about everything, everything seems to be going wrong and we just don't feel good. You have to understand that a lot of our level of frequency is in our control, all right? There's certain tools we can use in order to to vibrate at a certain frequency, all right? Whether that's exercising when you know you feel good afterwards, whether it's drinking enough water and staying hydrated, getting good quality sleep, meditating, doing breath work, cold showers, all these things are gonna help us raise our level of frequency. Okay, affirmations can be good, but if we don't believe them, then they're not that effective in my opinion. But the thing that people get stuck with is allowing other people's low frequency and low energy to, to rub off on us. Right, and that can even come through social media. So if I sit down and watch something on YouTube, which is just someone, it's just a negative, a low frequency. Or if I go on social media and everyone's content that I consume is just shit and it's making me feel shit about myself, they're complaining. Um, you know, a really good example, I hate to even talk about it, but all this COVID shit at the moment, if you're just if you looking at stuff online and people are complaining about all that stuff, it's going to make you feel shit. Right, and you get to choose whether you watch that or not. So something that I did is I went through my Instagram, for example, and just unfollowed any fucking account that was posting negative stuff. Got rid of all of it. Same with when I go on watch YouTube or even stuff on Netflix. I try not to watch anything that's going to bring my frequency down. The biggest one, though, is the conversations we have with other people and the language we use ourselves. So I can manifest good and bad into my own life. I get to choose whether I manifest good and bad. If I'm complaining about something, if I'm talking negatively to myself or I'm talking about things that I don't want, I'm going to manifest more of that. The opposite is true as well. If I only talk about the things that I do want, if I only do talk about the things that I that make me happy or the outcome that I do want, I'm going to get more of that. If I go and spend an hour having a conversation with a friend and that friend, even though I may absolutely love this person, but at the same time, they're just always complaining, they never take responsibility for their own outcome, they're talking shit about other people. They're just whinging, whinging, whinging and not doing anything to fucking change their own outcome. That energy is going to rub off on me and I can't be surprised if I then get affected by that. And it happens all the fucking time. So you need to be selective with who you give your energy to. You need to protect your own energy, your own energy, right? So going on social media, following accounts that are going to, are going to provoke your thoughts to be positive, like following accounts that are going to raise your frequency, choosing to speak in a way that is going to elevate your frequency, right? When you see someone achieve something, instead of feeling jealousy or envy or um, or what's envy? I think that's the word. Instead of feeling that, celebrate their win for them. Congratulate them. Be happy for them because that is going to come back to you. It's like a boomerang. If I throw out positive energy, it's going to come back. If I throw out negative energy, that shit's going to come back and smack me in the face as well. We have to understand this. And, you know, be selective with who you give your energy to. You have to cut people off completely, but if you're having a conversation with someone and all they're doing is whinging, wrap it up or change the subject. Don't sit there and agree with them. You have to have standards for yourself and you have to stick to these standards and not allow yourself to feel this shitty way based off somebody else. I'm sure everyone understands what it's like when you go in in a room with someone who operates or elevates from a really high frequency and... You just feel good afterwards. You haven't even done anything. They haven't even really said anything or you haven't gotten anything or whatever it may be. But you just feel good. The same applies with negative and, and negative people and, and low frequencies. We can't allow ourselves to get caught in that trap. So the whole point of this little video is to get you to understand that it's your responsibility to remove the things, the people, or, or at least minimize the things and people that are, that are lowering your frequency and making you feel shit. All right, and the same with the stuff that you say, the way you talk and the language you use and the self-talk that you have. You have to be selective and choose the options that are going to help you and work in your favor. All right, Don't talk about the shit you don't want. Stop fucking talking about it. Stop talking about the fact that you don't want it to fucking rain tomorrow. Just talk about the fact that you hope it's a nice day tomorrow. All right, Or you don't want to run into this person. How many times have you said, I really hope I don't see this person, and then fucking five minutes later you see him? <laughs> You brought that upon yourself. 
So understand that it's your responsibility that you get to make the choices every single day. Like morning routines at the moment is a is a topic or a subject that gets talked about a lot um, and probably too much, I guess. I don't know. But the thing with morning, like I don't, I have a morning routine, but I like to refer to it more so as my daily non-negotiable. It's not really a routine. It's just I get out of bed, I have a cold shower, I might write down some intentions and goals for the day, and then I'll meditate. And the reason I do it is because I know that afterwards I feel good mentally, and I go into the day not reactive, and I'm I'm ready to take on the day. And you guys can do that shit too. Like you have to take some responsibility. You can't just go go through life in this victim mentality, thinking that everything happens to you. Everything happens for you and you get to make the choice whether your day and your life is good or whether it's shit. So it's up to you to make that choice.